Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features a preview of the brand new tier 10 Italian destroyer Attilio Regolo, which has just entered testing. The Capitani Romani class was a class of light cruisers acting as flotilla leaders for the Regia Marina or Italian Navy and were originally designed as scout cruisers for ocean operations although many considered them to have been heavy destroyers. They were designed and built to outrun and outgun the large new French destroyers of the Le Fantasque and Mogador classes. The Attilio Rigolo was commissioned in August 1942 and used as a mine layer until seriously damaged by a torpedo from the Royal Navy submarine HMS Unruffled in November of the same year. Attilio Rigolo was ceded to France in 1948 as part of war reparations and renamed Chateau Renault. The Attilio Rigolo coming to World of Warships is based on this ship. Now I must remind you that it's still a work in progress and everything we'll see from this point is still subject to balancing changes. But this is the current state of testing so let's start with the ship upgrades and captain skills on which all the ship stats mentioned in this video are based on this exact build. So starting with the ship upgrades, nothing really out of the, the ordinary here. Main armaments, engine room protection, aiming systems, propulsion mod, concealment system, and main battery mod 3. So what we really want to look at here is the consumables. Exhaust smoke generator, 40 second action time with a 10 second smoke dispersion time. Six charges in total. A fast emergency engine power, 25% speed boost, which is active for 25 seconds only. So it's very short duration emergency engine power for those emergency situations where you need that rapid extra burst of speed. Very normal DD build, preventive maintenance. This is what currently what I'm testing on the PTS. Preventive maintenance, last stand, survivability expert, concealment expert, now I am trying to play this in the, at the moment in a DD hunting or DD countering role using radio location, adrenaline rush and main battery AA expert for that extra range. So let's take a look at the ship's armor layout. Very standard stuff, lightly armored, your normal DD armor, 19 millimeters of plating, Everywhere, fore end plating, side plating, deck, aft end. The superstructure gets 13 millimeters. The turrets get a frontal plate of 16 millimeters and then complete 30 millimeter protection on both side, top, and rear plating. Now, survivability wise, the Attilio Rigolo gets 30,300 hit points and no repair party. Moving to the artillery, Attilio Rigolo gets eight 135mm guns mounted in four twin mounted turrets. They get a base reload time of 4.4 seconds with this build. These turrets can rotate 180 degrees in 20.7 seconds. They have a max dispersion of 85 meters and a max firing range of 10.2 kilometers. Now these guns, they can fire both high explosive and semi armor piercing shells. High explosive can inflict a max damage of 1950, 9% fire chance, they can pen 23 millimeters of armor and have a shell speed of 875 meters per second. Semi armor piercing, have the exact same shell speed, they can inflict a max damage of 
3050 and they can pen 38 millimeters of armor. When it comes to torpedo armament, the Attilio Regolo gets eight torpedoes in two quad mounted launchers, both centrally mounted that can be fired either side. Now these torpedo tubes have a reload time of 90 seconds, a max firing range of 13.5 kilometers. They can inflict a max damage of 13,956 knots of speed and a very low torpedo detectability range of only one kilometer. So quite stealthy torpedoes. When it comes to depth charges, two charges in total can drop eight bombs per charge, so a total of 16 bombs. They can inflict a max damage of 3,200 and have a reload time of 40 seconds. When it comes to AA defense, it does seem quite limited. Four sestuple mounted 20 millimeter guns, four single mounted 37 millimeter guns, and then finally four single mounted 65 millimeter. All combined, they pump out a continuous average damage of 188 vast majority of which is medium range but then again the max firing range is only 3.7 kilometers so you're going to be very reliant on your smoke screen when it comes to dealing with enemy aircraft when it comes to maneuverability a max speed of 41 knots that can be increased to 43.1 with the sierra mike signal flag and remember the attilio regolo gets a 25% speed boost with the engine boost consumable. Turning circle radius 770 meters and a rudder shift time of 5.7 seconds. Now this can be modified. I am running with propulsion, but you can put the steering gears mod on and that gets the rudder shift time down to 4.5 seconds. Finally, concealment wise, with a full stealth build incorporating both upgrade and captain skill, you can get the concealment range of the Attilio Regolo down to 7.2 kilometers. Surface detection range by submarines and by aircraft is 3.5 kilometers. So you can expect balancing changes to be made throughout testing but this is the current state of the Attilio Rigolo. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you did and subscribe so as not to miss out on any future updates. I stream on Twitch regularly during the week. If you have any questions, link is here on screen. I look forward to seeing you all. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.